Well, Sammy Do, coming to you live from Precious World Mobile Studios out here walking Miss Chanel. Look at her, ain't she cute, prancing around like a little princess. <laughs> uh, but today I want to give you another golden nugget regarding your real estate investing business, real estate wholesaling. So if you're new and trying to get it going, trying to get your first, second deal, Maybe you've even bought courses and still don't seem to find success, which typically I would tell you why, because you don't have a mentor. Uh, I want you to listen to this golden nugget. It's called the, uh, the Discipline Boot Camp. The Discipline Boot Camp. Listen, I've done over a hundred and something deals uh, in, in my real estate career and still growing and i can tell you you're gonna have to go through the discipline boot camp so stay tuned and i'll tell you more about it sammy do live from precious world studios doing it again dropping another golden nugget <laughs> Right, Sammy Do back at you. Wanted to actually come to the uh, to the Precious World Studio office to cover this subject. Uh, this discipline boot camp is actually a pretty serious, fundamental uh, notion that you need to have in, in the business. This is a, uh, a very, very, very important piece. Uh, there, there. Listen, there are several prerequisites. Prerequisites. Uh, to being in the real estate business, the real estate investing business. Now, listen, you guys know that I am not about the glitz and the glam of real estate. I am not about the get rich uh, by doing a bunch of deals and you're going to be a millionaire someday. That's there's enough channels and a bunch of folks and you know that's what they talk about and they brag about their checks and they brag about their deals. And I'll tell you, nobody ever posts the bad stuff. And uh, I don't blame them. Nobody likes to show off on the bad stuff. However, the way I want to approach this business and what this platform is about is all about mentoring and coaching the real estate investor into uh, having a successful real estate business by giving you the golden nuggets that you really just won't hear about uh, from a number of these other guru platforms uh, because they're busy flashing checks. Listen. There are some prerequisites in this business. I did a video recently that talked about focus, focus and being aware of being how, how not to get distracted by ads and things of that nature. Today, I want to talk about discipline, the discipline boot camp. Now, let me also tell you this. I have a corporate background where before I went to become an independent business owner, I actually worked in the corporate world and not bragging here either but at, at one point I had about 5,000 folks under my purview and this included six-figure managers that had you know three or four hundred folks that worked for them and all of them were were under my purview I just kind of leave it at that the reason I bring that up is I've been able to learn a lot of uh, basic skill sets and, and fundamental practices that should be applied. Now, I'm going to tell you, working for an employer versus working for yourself are two different things. And I'm going to tell you, working for yourself <laughs> is much harder than working for an employer. This is why most people work for an employer. However, if you can work for yourself, you have the ability to compensate yourself three and four times more than what an employer can do. So whatever your salary is on your current job, if you if you have a day job, just imagine multiplying that by three or four more times by being able to pay yourself working in your own business. So I said that to say this, the reason it's easier to work for an employer is because you have pretty much somebody telling you what to do. 
Someone is telling you what they expect of you. Someone is telling you that if it doesn't get done, that there are consequences, right? Being a self-employed person, you have to do all of that for yourself. No one is going to tell you when to get up. No one's going to tell you where to go, what to do, how to do it. No one's going to teach you. You have to do all of this yourself. And th th there, this comes with a discipline because in this business, it's not always fun, yay, 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 rah, rah, rah stuff. There, it takes a discipline to get in through this business. So I want to kind of talk to you about the fundamentals of the discipline that's necessary in this real estate business. And so I'm going to use my whiteboard. That's why I came into the office after I given it some more thought. I said, I, I want to break this down a little bit uh, uh, more so you can really, 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 really get what I'm talking about. So one of the first areas that I kind of want to break out is and my marker's not working <laughs> let's find a marker that might work for me here let's see if this one works oh this one works let's talk about time now what do I mean when I talk about the discipline of time well, like I told you, no one's going to tell you what time the day of to work. No one's going to tell you that you work an eight-hour day and you take a 15-minute break. No one tells you that. In this business, you do what you have to do to get the job done. Now, the question is, what do you do? How often do you need to do it? And when do you need to do it? And what do you need to do? How often do you need to do it? And when do you need to do it? And you know, frequency and consistency matters in this business. So an example for with time is, you know, if, if you're going to employ in the real estate investing business, uh, marketing strategy of doing cold calls. Well, how many calls are you going to make that day? How many calls are you going to make every day? Are you going to make calls every day? Uh, if you're going to send out mailers, how many mailers? What's the metric? What can you afford and how consistent can you be with that? How often? To what locations? If, you, if you're going to be posting things on social media, whether you're posting ads or whether you're looking, how much time do you spend looking uh, for ads, for leads? Um, and, and these are things that just because you do it one time and didn't get anything doesn't mean it, doesn't, that it don't work. These are items that you have to do over and over and over. You know, earlier I got off the phone with one of my students that said, you know, you know, Sammy, do I had, you know, I had a hundred phone call. I made a hundred phone calls the other day and, and, you know, 80% of them said this and the other 20% said this. And then there was an extra call that said this. And, and all of this essentially meant that nothing kind of worked. Now, why didn't it work? It could have been the timing. It could have been the competition. Because understand, you're not the only one that's trying to be in the real estate investing world. There's a lot of folk out there now. And so a lot of inventory is getting eaten because of seasoned folks that knows how to get it and, and lock it down and say the magic words to, to, to keep uh, the, 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 you know, the sellers uh, focused on them, or, whereas new folks are struggling to find their way. But long story short, that was just one day, one shift. And he got nose. In this business, you got to have thick skin. You got to have the ability to, to, to know that nose are part of the business. Man, if you went through 30 or 40 nose and you get the one yes, and that one yes can take care of your entire marketing, entire you know, infrastructure costs, as well as put extra money in your pocket. Isn't that still worth it? You know, it's like a needle in a haystack, except I'll call it a house. <laughs> you're not looking for a needle, you're looking for a house. <laughs> but listen, I would suggest for one that uh, in the entrepreneurial world, uh, hopefully this marker will work. I just lost one here. But let's see, in the entrepreneurial world, when it comes to managing your time, when it comes to 
what do you do and how often you need to do it. I want to introduce you to a tool that's called a DMO. This is a tool that many home-based businesses utilize in their various types of businesses and a DMO is ca called a daily method of operation. And with that, you can have an example of a DMO. Every day, I'm going to make, you know, 50 calls. Every day, I'm going to post five ads. Every day, I'm going to uh, send out, you know, whatever batch of RVMs I got, I'm going to send that out. I'm going to skip trace X amount of, of, of leads. And of course, some of these programs have a minimum amount, so you, you can insert whatever those numbers are. But here's the thing. You want to ensure that you're executing your DMO daily. And sometimes you can make it a WMO as well, weekly method. There are some items that you would do every day. Like part of your uh, daily method of operation should also have a line about follow-up. <laughs> you know, following up on any calls or leads that you've gotten. Um, that should be on that every day. But on the, on the front side of it should also be your marketing. You know, marketing is probably, you know, 70% of your business cost. So in order to manage that time, you want to, uh, listen, If uh, just to use the sport analogy, um, how many push-ups you're doing? How many sit-ups you're doing? How many sets of those are you going to do, right? I'm using that same analogy when it comes to time here, right? When it comes to what to do, when to do it. You know, maybe on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you're doing certain things with marketing. Maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're somewhat set aside for the administrative parts of the, any leads that you've gotten. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you set two days a week to set aside for brainstorming, to be creative on some other new marketing strategies. Um, maybe there's an hour every day that you're reading a book. Maybe there's a hour every day that you're, you're watching someone's channel. Um, I, would, I would behoove you to kind of stay focused on certain things. There's so much out there you can get distracted. But the point that I'm making is a daily method of operation is very important in this business to keep you disciplined, to keep you disciplined so you can continue to move forward in your business. So you're not all over the place. So you're not all over the place. I can spend a lot more time on this um, listen, you guys know I'm a coach and mentor. I actually have students throughout, you know, a number of different parts of the country. Uh, currently still have a couple of spots left. I, I take on a certain, a certain amount of students every month. I can't take on a, too many because I'm still in the business myself. But um, I try to do what I can do to get people from uh, making zero to thirty thousand dollars in thirty to sixty days. That's 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 what I try to help folks do to get get their business going. And I try to cut out all the riffraff. Let me give you another nugget here, uh, if I can find a pen that that will work. Um, <clears throat> the next nugget I'm going to tell you is talent. Now. Within your discipline, you probably have some talent of some sort. You know, gifts are without repentance. There is talents that are sometimes natural for you. Um, your talent could be in you, 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 that you know how to talk to people. You really love talking to people. You can read people very well, and you know how to make the right relationships, the bonds that you need to make. Uh, especially when it comes to empathizing. You know, you got these sellers that's in foreclosures. And, and, and they really need your help. Uh, your time, your, your time, it might be administrative. You really know how to organize. You really know how to, to keep things neat and packaged right. So there's, you know, it's, there's no confusion. You, your time might be in the numbers. How you, you, you could be very good with how to quickly analyze in the numbers. Uh, and, you know, how to, you know, what the percentages is and cap rates and, 
you know cash on cash returns and whatever those numbers are uh, you may be pretty good at that but at the end of the day talent still has to be toned and and grown listen you got talented track stars but they still have a coach you got talented boxers they still have a coach you know uh, the, you, you got talented tennis players they still have a coach right you've got talented doctors but they went through an internship with another doctor you have talented uh, police officers that went through another uh, mentorship through uh, what they call a field training officer let me tell you even a real estate agent has to work under a real estate broker either from two to four years depending on the state that they still have to work under a broker before they can have their own real real estate company that's called a coach and so when it comes to talent and even though you may have some natural skill sets you still if you're really serious about uh, developing that talent and, and utilizing that talent you still want to take that talent and make it place be placed in the proper ways to make your business successful you don't want to have talent that's you know you've got a great a, a number of talent but it's not working as a smooth system for you because systematically and, and discipline is not natural <laughs> Discipline is more of a training situation. You have to get trained on what the disciplines are. So, but with talent, you need a coach. What Mike Tyson said, he says, yeah, everybody's got a plan until they get hit, until they get their first punch. So once you get your first punch, guess what? Discipline kicks in, so now you know you got to keep your guard up, you got to duck, you got to move, you just can't go in there swinging crazy. You can't because your coach is telling you how to not get hit like that again, what pitfalls to avoid. And in real estate, you, you need a coach to kind of let you know that some of the pitfalls that are out there, where your talents are strong and where they are weak, even if you're running your own business. So your coach can help you continue to keep the talents that you have naturally strong but help you develop other talents that you might need because as a real estate investor you need to know how to talk to people you need to know how to do the numbers you need to have some organizational skills all the examples I just told you you may not be strong in all those areas and even if you are you need to be home you need to be fine-tuned and polished and shaped and again serious folks that serious about their craft they understand the value of having a coach. That's what's going to get you to the next level within the real estate investing business. Now, here's another area, and I'm gonna kind of cap it out at just the three areas. And this is even more important. Treasure. Treasure, what do I mean when I say treasure? Well. First of all, treasure, uh, and it looks look like you can see, let me turn this little light off. Uh, that says coach. <laughs> uh, but treasure is, uh, I'm gonna turn this light back on. Treasure is uh, talking about the finances. A business, if you're gonna have a business, not a hobby, if you're gonna have a business, it's going to require you to spend some money. It's gonna require you to know how to spend the money, how much to spend that money what to spend that money on, who to spend that money with, who, uh, uh, what to spend that money on. And why is discipline important here? Well, in this real estate business, it can be a money pit. You can spend your money on courses. You can spend your money on books. You can spend your money on this software system and this software system and this book that someone else is selling and this course that somebody else is selling and 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 this gadget widget widget what all there's a lot of money out there that can be spent and what you don't know can hurt you financially using up your credit the wrong way you if you have credit that's great it can help you in this business but if you use it the wrong way it's you got to be bad because you can just ruin your credit 
by trying to start your own business using your credit, which a lot of people that started their business use their credit and guess what? Now their credit's jacked up. Whereas there's a way to do that without jacking up your credit. But so what what keeps you from spending wrong? How how do you get the discipline to know what to spend on, what you shouldn't spend on, what works where you get your return, what doesn't work that you won't get a return? what's necessary for you in the business at this point, what's not necessary for you in the business at this point, what, what helps you to do that? What keeps you on the right track? What is, what, what, where do you find the knowledge that you don't know? Because you can spend the time figuring it out on your own, and you can spend the time trying to spend money over here, spend money over there, spend money over here, spend money over here, none of this stuff works, and you're still not getting your deals done. What work? How do you get that fixed? Well, this is where a mentor comes into play. Where where this mentor can tell you, good, you got some capital. All right. This is where you, how you want to allocate your capital and where you want to spend first. I I tell you with my students, I try before I get them bogged down with a bunch of infrastructure you know because there's all kind of money you can spend to get infrastructure I want the best marketing system I want the best software for this I want to buy the best leads and and all this kind of stuff and it, 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 it it's a money pit it's a money pit it's a law so I try to get my students let's let's get your first or second deal first get some capital in the bank for you first and then we can start adding infrastructure as necessary I've got so many folks that, that, that wants to begin to outsource a number of all these different tasks and they don't even know how to do the task themselves. So if you're going to outsource it to somebody and pay them to do it and you don't know how to do it yourself, how do you manage that entity that you outsourced it to to make sure you're getting your return? Because anything you outsource, you, you expect to get a return for that. That's what business is. <laughs> You expect that they're going to do a good job and you're going to make money off of the job that they're doing. You know, you got folks outsourcing to different other businesses, you got out, folks outsourcing things to third world countries and all. But if they're not doing the job that they're supposed to be doing and you don't know how to do it, why are you outsourcing it if you don't know how to do it? But yet you're trusting somebody else to do it for you with your money. That's where it becomes a money pit. You need to learn how to do everything that you need to outsource first so when you do have problems down the road, you can properly manage that situation. And then if that entity is not doing a good job, you fire them, you can hire somebody else, but you know, you better now know how to vet that next entity out so you can make sure you're going to get a better return. The discipline boot camp is very, very serious to being successful in the real estate investing business, in your real estate wholesaling business. And you want to make sure that you are disciplined with your time, your talent, and your treasure. And the best way to have discipline in those three areas is to have these three tools. A daily method of operation in your time. Guess what? Your coach can help you form what your daily touch steps should be. You know, your coach can help you home in on your talent when you've had that phone call with that client and it went such and such and you didn't know how to handle that. Your coach can help you with that. When it's time for you to continue to grow your business and invest or it's time for you to make a certain move, your mentor, the mentor can help you with what, where to step and where not to step. The discipline boot camp is very, very serious to the success of a business. And more importantly, it's, it, it helps you get the longevity in the business. There's so many folks that try to get in this business and you drop out. That's, you know, 95 to 98 percent of folks that try to get in real estate investing drops out. These gurus know that. That's why they charge 20, 30, 40 and 50 thousand dollars up front before they start trying to tell you some things. And... Um, is it their fault that they're doing it? No, because you got folks that get so excited off of the dopamine. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go real estate. I'm going to be rich, 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 and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, it's a business. People's falling for that. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get wealthy in the real estate business. I've done all right. But 
what I'm saying is, it's not all glitz and it's not all glam. And you see a lot of stuff on social media and it's mostly all the glitz and the glam. Look at this check. Look at this house. I just got my second deal. Hey, I just closed four deals this weekend. Hey, I just did this. This is it. Listen, nobody's putting up their bad stuff. <laughs> Every now and then you get a guru that says, oh, I made a bad decision. I've told you a few bad decisions, but we don't run around with that on the front side. We, we talk about mostly all the good stuff. What I'm doing with this platform, the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline, what I'm doing with this platform is giving you grassroot, real deal, street cred of information on how to get your business going. It's not pretty, <laughs> but it's the real thing that you need to get your business going. If you don't have a dis if you don't have discipline in your business, you're not going to get this business going. This is why others can get it done and other and many don't. So, um, listen, I uh, like I said earlier, I do have a few slots left uh, for this month. That if you are looking for a coach and a mentor, uh, you can click the link in the description and get onto my calendar, 30-minute free session. We can consult and about your business, and I can give you a couple more golden nuggets that I just don't put out totally all the, out publicly but I can give you some in private uh, and then we can also talk about what it would take to be in a relationship with me to help you get your business I'm not selling uh, courses or anything I'm just here trying to help you know reach one teach one my mentors told me it's time to do that this is my way of doing it because I, I know that there's a huge void out there when it comes to real mentorship and real coaching and I'm here to kind of help uh, fill that void the best that I can and um, if you like these golden nuggets I want please like the video subscribe to this channel share it with someone that you you might know that can use some help uh, and please make a comment let me know if you didn't like it let me know I, I like to hear what you got to say make sure that you're getting what you need from me I wanted to make sure I gave this one a little bit more thought so I wasn't uh, too too rambling. And so I wanted to use my whiteboard today on this. But listen, I wish you well. And I'll see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. Hey, hey, Sammy, do the do -roo, back at you. Hey, uh, are you smelling what I'm cooking? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You like these golden nuggets that we are dropping at you? Well, if you do, please like the video that you just seen. Also, subscribe to this platform. You can do that by hitting the red uh, subscribe now button somewhere here or there. Uh, look for it. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would encourage me to continue to put out uh, more content like this. And uh, check out my library of other videos as well. Also, don't forget, if you need to set your appointment, the link is in the description. Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And until then, I will see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless Sammy. Doom, doom, doom. Out.